My dear friends, we live in troubled times. I invite you now to join in this prayer for peace in the Middle East. God of mercy and compassion, of grace and reconciliation, pour your power upon all your children in the Middle East. Jews, Muslims, and Christians, Palestinians and Israelis. Let hatred be turned into love, fear to trust, despair to hope, oppression to freedom, that violent encounters may be replaced by loving embraces, and that peace and justice could be experienced by all. Amen. From the historic Loretto Abbey Chapel, kind cooperation of the Toronto Catholic District School Board, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents The Daily TV Mass. Hello and welcome to the celebration of the Daily TV Mass. I am Father John Berteo. The celebration of this Mass is made possible by the contribution from an anonymous donors, anonymous donors from Rollo Bay, Prince Edward Island. This Mass is offered in memory of Joseph A. and Ellen C. MacDonald and for their deceased members of the Bloom, Blooming Point, Prince Edward Island. And our thanks to our donors for making it possible for tens of thousands of faithful across Canada and around the world to share in this celebration that we begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, as we gather together to celebrate this Eucharist, let us pause and ask forgiveness of our sins and for the courage to forgive others. As together we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant you prayer, Almighty God, that always pondering spiritual things we may carry out in both word and deed that which is pleasing to you. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Romans. I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worth comparing with the glory about to be revealed to us. For the creation waits with eager longing for the revealing of the children of God, for the creation was subjected to futility, not of its own will, but by the will of the one who subjected it, in hope that the creation itself will be set free from its bondage to decay and will obtain the freedom of the glory of the children of God. We know that the whole creation has been groaning in labor pains until now, and not only the creation, but we ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, groan inwardly while we wait for adoption, the redemption of our bodies. For in hope we were saved. Now hope that is seen is not hope. For who hopes for what is seen? But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait for it with patience. The word of the Lord. Thanks.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said, What is the kingdom of God like? And to what should I compare it? It is like a mustard seed that someone took and sowed in the garden. And it grew and became a tree, and the birds of the air made nests in their branches. And again Jesus said, To what should I compare the kingdom of God? It is like yeast that a woman took and mixed it in three measures of flour until all of it was leavened. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord. Lord. Short gospel, but again, full of incredible meaning, not only 2,000 years ago, but today in our lives. And so it's full of hope and not gloom. I say that because on this October the 31st, when so many in our country have mock cemeteries in their lawns, skeletons and other decorations, perhaps to frighten some, some and make others think of this day that reminds me of so, so many years ago when I and a few friends were blessed to pay a visit to Mexico. Now, after dinner in this nice restaurant, we decided to go for a walk in the downtown area. What caught our attention was in front of the city hall by the steps going to the city hall and all the front round, all around it, there was a display of many, many lit candles, clay jars and hundreds, perhaps thousands of pictures spread out all over the walkway and the steps leading to our city hall. And of course, there were many, many people all around, some sharing stories, others praying, and many others crying for the deceased members. I understand that this tradition is also taking place in many parts of the other, other parts of the world, such as I learned from my Filipino colleagues that they also do the same thing. So I asked the people there in Mexico what was going on and, and what was told, what I was told was that a remembrance for those who have died and were out of the country, so they had to make a shift memorial in their memory. This was followed by a large procession to the local church to pray for their souls, and eventually many of them made their way to the cemetery. A totally, totally different view of Halloween or, of course, Hallow's Eve as we celebrate in our beautiful country of Canada. I also have learned that Halloween has always been a holiday filled with mystery, magic, and superstition. It began as a Celtic end of the summer festival during which people felt especially close to deceased relatives and family members. Not, not to frighten people, but to give us a small glimpse of the reality of heaven where we all want to be one day with all the angels and the saints, and of course, all of those who left before us. So in today's gospel, Jesus refers to yeast and the mustard seed that demonstrate the mystery of the transformation, our transformation. In today's gospel then, Jesus uses the example of the mustard seed. So what can these mustard seeds teach us about the kingdom of God? See, a tiny mustard seed, a little black thing, they literally grow in the, to be a tree in which attracted numerous birds because they love the little black mustard seed that the tree produced. God's kingdom works in a similar way. Just stay with me for a minute. See. Just look, look around and notice the signs of God's transformation in those who are open to receiving that transformation. The beautiful fall in many parts of the world, the kindness of neighbors that we can see, like I experienced perhaps in Mexico at that time and that evening, the forgiveness of others, the sharing 
of candy and sweets with other people. Maybe some of us did that at Easter and at Christmas, the sharing, the time for peace. It looks for good. The transformation looks for good in people and what is around us. In short, hope for the world despite violence and war. There is still hope for us. It starts from the smallest beginnings in the hearts of each one of us, receptive to God's word. And it works within us and causes a transformation within us in the heart. Perhaps then, like many, many, many saints, not all were perfect at the beginning of their early lives until they too, they too were transformed into instruments of God's love and peace that we remember and celebrate even to this day when we think of the saints. Like, for example, St. Paul. So today is the eve of all saints, the countless souls who after their trials of this earthly passage are now rejoicing in the kingdom that we can only imagine, but with faith and hope that Jesus will take us one day and to be into his kingdom of peace, joy, and tranquility, provided we start our transformation here on this earth, making a difference one person at a time, no matter how different they might be from us, no matter what color, background, nationality, whatever it might be. Just take a little moment to say to them, you're special like me. Don't go overboard, but just to think, if they're Christian, they're baptized into the same Jesus that you and I are. My dear friends in Christ, I pray that this year, both Halloween, All Saints Day, and All Souls Day give you the peace of mind, the peace that all of us, all of us, are welcome to join, in, to join with Jesus and all of our loved ones and all the saints who are we're sinners like us and all the saints, the human saints now in the kingdom of heaven. Let's pray for them and with them here on earth to know that that transformation in our own hearts is possible. All we need to do is one step at a time, one breath at a time, and one time, every time that in our lives, all we need to say is, Jesus, I love you. I love you. And in turn, he will show you how to love others and respect them the way he loves you and the way he loves others. May the peace that only Jesus can give be with you and the peace that never ends, that starts here in heaven with transformation, here on earth, or rather, in the transformation and in heaven forever. Amen. Please join me. During this season of thanksgiving, we thank God for all the blessings we have been given, and we ask for continued blessings on ourselves, our neighbors, and our world. We pray to the Lord. Lord for all who doubt the presence of God and eternity with him in heaven, we pray to the Lord. Lord. For all who are grieving, something that has been someone that has been here before us, may their faith in the risen Jesus be of consolation to them. We pray to the Lord. Lord. For all the souls in purgatory, may they rest from their labors and faith in Jesus our Savior. We pray to the Lord. Lord. For the sponsor, of this daily TV Mass, we pray to the Lord. Lord in veneration of our Blessed Mother, who ascended into heaven, body and soul, we pray, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. <clears throat> the 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for if you can just receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Through the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humble himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for if you can receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Lord God, Lord, wash my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. Thank you. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <laughs> As, as we celebrate your mysteries, O Lord, with the observance that is your due, we humbly ask you that what we offer to the honor of your majesty may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. For through your beloved Son, you created the human race. So also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all you creatures serve you. All the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too exalt you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, if your sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make all these gifts that are brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command to celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said a blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. <clears throat> Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, 
And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain and enhance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints. On his constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity, O Pilgrim Church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Francis, our Bishop, the order of bishops and all the clergy, and the entire people who have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you've summoned before you in your compassion. O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and unto all who are pleasing to you at the passing from this life, give kind and minister your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom we bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, you pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you say to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let's pause for a moment and think of that peace to transform our hearts and love for others. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter the my room, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ meet to everlasting life. Please join me now in this act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart, as though you were already there. I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you. Permit not 
that I should ever be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant we pray, Almighty God, that we may experience the effects of the salvation which is pledged to us in these mysteries through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has been celebrated. Go forth in the peace of Christ. Thanks to God. Our thanks to our donors for the gift of this Mass.